The next bead that I need to add, I'm going into the first white bead that my thread was coming out of originally. I'm going to add a white bead. When I go through my first white bead to complete that initial third row of my peyote, I'm also going to go through the first bead that I added in that third row, which is going to be my red bead. That is called a step up. You're stepping up so that way you can continue on with your project and add your next row of peyote. As you step up here, kind of covering up that stop bead, you'll be able to see the pattern starting to go and take shape that you have lines of white, red, white, red. As we add the next pattern, I kind of push down towards the center with my fingers. You can use, some people will use um, a straw or a piece of tubing. If that helps you, go for it and grab it. After you get this fourth and fifth row on, it's really easy to continue on. I'm always going to be pulling now the bead that's sticking up in the pattern, adding again the color that I'm going into as I'm sewing around in a circle. So I'm coming out that red bead, which is the first bead that I added in row three, and I'm going to start row four. To start row four, I'm coming out of a red, going into a white, so I add a white. As you add this fourth row, give a nice little tight pull, and that'll start to change it into that tubular shape. My thread is coming out a white, but I'm also going back into another white, so I'm going to add a white. Give a tight pull, and that tubular shape is starting. Here I'm coming out a white, going into a red, add a red, sew through. Coming out of a red, add another red, because I'm sewing into a red. Give a pull. Last one here, I'm adding this white one, sewing into a white, and coming out. I have my last red bead that I need to add. When I do that, I'm going to sew into that first red bead that my thread was initially coming out. At the same time, I'm going to go through the first white bead that I added in this row four. That's my step up. When you pull now, you get a really clear picture as after you add that fourth row of that candy cane starting to take shape. So I'm four rows in and you can see that line starting and you can count the number of beads that you have in the red line. That's the really easy one to kind of pick up or if you spin around to kind of the white line there. Four rows because you're on that four of a diagonal. As we go around and continue this peyote stitch, Again, it's always going to be adding which bead you're sewing into next around. Each pass that you're going into and adding, you're always going to be adding two whites, two reds, a red, and a white. So again, we're adding those six beads. If you have trouble keeping track of where you are and going into the step up mode, lay the beads out on your mat in a group of two, two, one, one. That way as you sew along and you pick up the beads that you need to pick up, now we're going to pick up our one white and then our two reds. You'll know when it's time to do your step up because you already have your beads used up. So I'm sewing right along here, adding my beads. And that's one bead that I have there. I have one more bead laying, so I know I have to add that white one in. When I add that white bead in, I'm going to go through the last bead in the previous row, row four. And then I know because I don't have any more beads to add, that it's time to step up to the first bead that I added of row five. The more you do, the easier it is to see the pattern occurring and to make sure that you're on track with the pattern. So it's always gonna be then that I'm sewing into the red, 
add a red, and continuing on. And the pattern's just gonna spiral right along as you're working. At the end of each step up, I always make sure that I give a tug, keep tension, and that way you don't see a lot of thread showing. If you are using 15 O's or Delicas for this, your base is gonna become rather stiff because it doesn't have that same uh, flexibility between the beads because there's a kind of tighter fit. Just keep that in mind if you do want to curve it in order to make a bracelet or a necklace that it is going to be a little bit more rigid. I'm right here at the end and I'm stepping up and I'm continuing on. So it's really once you get that pattern and after you get past the fourth row, then you're golden and you can just kind of keep going. A lot of times it's hard to get up to that fourth row, but stick with it once you do get that fourth row in your circular peyote or your tubular peyote, you will be um, able to see the pattern then in your hands and just keep adding right along. So I'm gonna continue working on this for a while. Um, beautiful day, I might actually sit outside and do it and come back to you guys when I have a couple more inches done and a little bit more to show you. If you do forget to step up, it's gonna throw off your pattern. So make sure that you are getting that step up. And if you are having trouble kind of remembering when to do the step up, like I said, definitely lay your uh, six beads out and that way you'll know when you use all the beads up so you don't mess up your nice little candy cane spiral that you're creating.